Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to bring you guys the new All-Star Summer Content Update and basically guys, we got a new update, uh, new content about content update and that will be the show 18 Diamond Dynasty today. They added in some new All-Star Series players as well as the All-Star Summer Program. So let's take a look at the program. So we get a free all-Star Flashback, Clay Buckholtz, actually a pretty solid card, not going to lie, for a gold card, he does look pretty good, good pitch selection, and he does have very good, uh, decent per nines, so I would, this is not a bad gold card to use in your squad, then you also get this uh, Joe Panic second baseman, he is a lefty, and honestly, he looks, a, he looks decent, okay, he looks decent, good fielding, good contact, good vision, just the, the power's not there. And then also you get this 85 overall Mark Melanson. This card I'm really excited for because in Battle Royale, this dude is a beast. His cutter is so good. And look at the per nines on this card as well. He's got 88 and 80 hit and K per nine. As well as 96 and 94 walk and home run per nine. 90 control, 76 velocity, 92 break. He has a cutter, knuckle curve, forcing a splitter. And this card is going to be an absolute beast. I'm going to use this. And then finally... The big man of this program, 93 overall, Tony Gwynn. He is a lefty. He could play right field, left field, and center field. And he's got 122 and 114 contact for his right and left. Power is very low, but the vision is very high on this card at 117. And he also has some of the best feeling in the game. Great arm strength, great fielding, and good arm accuracy as well. And he does have 86 speed with 96 stealing. He has hitting machine, 2020 vision, walker, quick reflexes. Cannon has an extremely accurate throwing arm, speedster, thief, and pressure cooker. So this man is going to be an absolute beast in the outfield. And this is a very easy 93 overall to get. And I'll tell you guys how to get these guys as well as a couple other of these players. And also you do get, you do get Nationals Park because that's where the All-Star game is held this year. And you also get three All-Star player packs. And you do get them. At 20% and 60%. At 20% you get two of them. And at 60 you get two of them. So um, the first mission that I have to complete is the All-Star Collection. This one's going to give me the most trouble though. Because you really do have to grind for this. Now they did put some new guys on the auction house as well. We will go over them. But you have to collect 50 All-Star Legends by July 17, 2018. You need this to complete the collection for Tony Gwynn. You need to complete this. And it kind of does stink because I really, really don't want to do this. But you know what? I'm going to have to do it anyway. Uh, what, I, what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to buy all the All-Star Series players that got released today. And I'm also going to have to do some Team Epics as well because the 25 and 50% rewards, some of them do give out All-Star Series players. And as well, I'm going to have to do this Ian Desmond for Conquest. And I'm also going to have to complete the Cardinals collection to get the Eno so that I can put him in my lineup and I just need to do some other stuff but once I'm done with that I will have the 20% that you need next one is the all-star summer event wins you do it, it it does end July 26 and you need to get 10 event wins between the three events the first event is the um, split, split squad one which is I believe AL infield and NL outfield and uh, let me go check the event real quick. This is the new event that came out as well. Um, AL pitchers and infielders and NL outfielders. And it's vice versa for the split squad too. And then there's also a moonshot event. Which you do get some very good cards from as well. And all the event rewards. This reward is an 87 Zach Britton. This card is an absolute beast. I will show this, this card off real quick. He is definitely going to go on my pen though. Because this man... Is an absolute beast. I'm going to go to All-Star Series Collection just to show you guys the cards real quick. And as you can see, if we go to Zach Brain here, he's got 108 and 87 hit and K per 9. 68 and 93 walk and home run per 9. As well as 99 velocity, 97 break, and 79 control. He has a sinker, slider, and a 4 seat fastball. And he is a lefty. So I am definitely am going to use this card. I'm going to wait a couple days. Then buy him off the auction house. And I should have the Zach Brain in my bullpen also another card is going to get released this is the next event reward is going to be the 92 overall jose bautista he's got 80 and 102 contact with 98 and 108 power he's also got 66 vision which is very good 
for an outfielder are very good for a guy like him who hits for a lot of power. Good arm strength, good accuracy. His feelings a little low, but you know what? I had no errors using Nelson Cruz, so you know what? Why not? So he has a getting base hits, hitting home runs, drawing walks, and he has an extremely uh, strong throwing arm, and he he can play right field, first base, third base, left field, and center field. And uh, this card's gonna be absolutely incredible. I probably will put this card in center and put Dale Murphy on the bench because. Obviously, this card is a beast, and I really want to use this and get gameplay with him. Then, the final guy we have here, final event reward. This is going to be the split squad. Two reward it is going to be this 87 overall Ben Zobris. Now, he was in the Dickie Hunter last year. His card was kind of trash. I would not, I would not have used that card last year. He was a 97 overall, but still. But he can play every position except for catcher. He's got 78 and 94 contact with 73 and 74 power as well as 69 vision, good fielding, and overall just a very good card to use. He excels at getting base hits, drawing walks, and he performs better when there are runners on base. And overall, I am going to use this card. I'm going to play him at shortstop, and I'm going to put Hanley on the bench as well. So we're going to make a lot of changes to the squad with these new all-star players coming out. And, uh... Yeah, so basically you're going to have to do some work on this though, get some All-Star Series players, but once you do that, you're going to be set, and then you'll be able to get this Tony Gwynn. You also have to tally 10 home runs in 72 hours. It was originally a 24-hour mission, but they ended up changing it, so I mean, I really like that though. It starts on Saturday, July 14th, and ends on Monday, July 16th, so you'll have... Two days to hit 10 home runs in any Diamond Dynasty game, which is like Conquest or Ranked or something like that. Just hit 10 home runs and you will get an All-Star Equipment Pack, which I think we're going to get another set. This shows that we are going to get another set pack before the All-Star break is over. And we're going to get a new player just like we did with the Eddie Matthews and the William McCovey and the Jose Reyes. And then these one game hitting stats. And with AL players, you have to get five extra base hits, 10 runs, and three stolen bases in one game. And then with pitching, you have to get a win, two holds, a save, and 10 strikeouts. You probably can get that in a Conquest game. And this one, too, you could probably get these in a Conquest game. Not going to lie. And uh, same thing with the National League. And this is going to get you up to about 61%, so you'll be able to get the All-Star Packs. And yeah, overall, very good program. Really like these cards. And also, they did reveal the July missions as well, which, honestly, we don't care about that. But, let's go ahead, let's check out these new All-Star Series players. So, the first player that we... So, if you go to All-Star here, they added some new players. And, as you can see, they got the Bautista, they got the Zobris, and they got the um, Zach Brin here. But, they also added in some new gold cards. So, they added in this Urban Santana, 84 overall. Very generic pitch selection. And then they also added in, in my opinion, one of the best budget th first basemen in the game. It's Justin Smoke. I would not buy this card right now. Just save your stubs and wait until about Wednesday, next Wednesday, to buy this card if you want to get this. Because this card, absolute beast. He's a switch hitter. His hitting stats are incredible. Definitely would play him off the bench as a pinch hitter or just play him at first. But I would definitely recommend picking up this card because he's a beast. We also got Devin Mazzarocco, good hitting, and he's a catcher. And we also got a new Darren O'Day card. This card, I believe, was part of the Jim Palmer program. He was an 89 overall. This year, he's an 82, but this card is still very good. He's got a slider, a four-seam, a sinker, and a changeup. Basically, no upgrades to velocity, but he does have better per nines. And overall, this card is going to be incredible. To definitely use and uh, I believe the regular Darren O'Day has about a 58 home run per nine this one has a 71 so if you want to buy this card go ahead wait till Wednesday though because these cards will be expensive for the next couple of days because they just came out but this card definitely recommend picking him up would be a great relief pitcher in the bullpen and he is a gold so he won't drag down your team we got or if you have all diamonds we got Drew Pomeranz here decent starting pitcher would probably use him we got as Dribble Cabrera, Sonny Gray, Joaquin Soria, Jackie Bradley Jr., Jason Kipnis, and that is basically it. And I should have probably waited to sell my guys because I would have got a lot more stubs. Because as you can see, these guys are going for over a thousand, and I had like ten Richie Ashburns, 
eight Matt Moores, and ten Stephen Wrights. So probably should have sold them. I probably should have waited because I, if I had waited, I would have got so much more subs out of this. I probably would have made an extra five thousand subs because I did invest. But anyway, guys, that's basically it. Oh, I forgot one thing. We they also added new set packs to the game, set eight, and they did bring back. Uh, Carlos Ruiz, 88 overall, catcher, going for about 23k right now on the market. 94, 90 contact, not a lot of power there, but he does have 87 vision. Feeling's very good. I don't know if I'd buy this card. If you want to buy this card, go right ahead. But personally, I have Joe Torre playing catcher, so I don't need this card. He does have, uh, he excels at getting base hits. He rarely misses the ball when swinging. He excels at blocking pitches, and he has an extremely active extremely accurate flooring arm and he also performs better when there are runners on base so overall i mean this is a solid card probably will pick it up if you are in need of a catcher but personally i'm not if you're not in need of a catcher don't pick this card up but i don't know maybe but maybe pick this card up see how it is and um yeah guys so that's pretty much it i know i've rambled on for a long time i am very sorry anyway hope you guys have enjoyed if you did smash a like in the video and uh yeah I will see you guys later. Peace out.